Today we're going to talk about channels, in particular physical and logical channels as used in DMR. DMR uses physical hardware channels, in other words a receiver and a transmitter operating in a 12.5 kilohertz narrow bandwidth. Let's have a look at that. Here is a base station split into a receiver and a transmitter. Here we have some portable radios and typically a transmitter will transmit and the portables will receive. The portable when it transmits back will transmit and it will be picked up at the receiver. Now in addition to this, in our DMR system, as well as the physical hardware channels, we have logical channels and these are time slots. So on the transmitter, there are two time slots which are part of the 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth. So between the receiver on the portable and the transmitter at the base station, we have a two-way path, a logical path using time slots. So when the portable transmits back, it transmits on a discrete time slot as part of that channel. That is called a logical channel. The physical channel is the hardware, the logical channel are the time slots. So in a DMR system, the transmitter at the base station transmits on a certain frequency. We'll call that frequency 1. The transmitter is frequency 1, which is the same frequency for receive on a portable or a mobile. At the base station, the receiver will work on a second frequency, which we'll call frequency 2. And that is the frequency transmitted from the mobile and the portables. So in DMR, each physical channel is split into two logical channels using TDMA. So two time slots for transmit, two time slots for receive. Each logical channel on a DMR system is a communication path for voice or for data. In DMR tier 3, each channel can be categorized in two ways. Firstly, as a control channel carrying signaling, or as a traffic channel, sometimes called a payload channel, where the payload is voice packets or data packets. So in a DMR trunked network, each site has one control channel and several traffic channels. Now these are logical time slot channels. To make a call between sites, several traffic channels can be used on different sites. For multi-site group calls or inter-site individual calls, a traffic channel is used at each site involved in the call. Channels can be set up with the following options. Allow control, allow traffic, or to inhibit if jammed. Jammed meaning excess noise or interference on the channel. Typically at a site, only one channel is allowed to be the control channel. Other channels would be allowed to be traffic and they'd also have inhibit if jammed enabled. 